Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about AI trends. So today's world is changing too fast, and AI is going to make the situation more dramatic. As a long-time tech person, I want to share my point of view on AI development trends in 2025 and onwards. Don't think it's none of your business, even if you're not in tech. This rapid change will affect everyone's life soon. Imagine you didn't care about personal computer, or mobile phone, or the internet, or electricity, when it all started to emerge. This could be bigger. I will break down my point of view into four parts. First one is AI getting cheaper and better. The second one is beyond chatbot. The third one is more industrial focus, and the last one is be ready for the tipping point. So let's dive into it. First trend is. AI is getting cheaper and better. There are so many technical breakthroughs recently, especially with hardware and software coevolution. So many of my audience probably already know these recent breakthroughs from my previous videos, but I still want to name it for those who don't. For example, reduced KV cache size is optimizing model inference time a lot. This includes group query attention, multi query attention multi-head latent attention, and all kind of variants of attentions. Also, better ML architecture will make models more scalable. For example, a mixture of experts architecture, it only activates part of the neuron every time, making it more scalable, effectively a sparse model, instead of a dense model, which is more popular in the past. Also, hardware optimization, including FP8 mixed precision training, make this even cheaper. Also, new training paradigm makes training more scalable. You probably heard that RL researchers getting the latest, latest Turing award. So pure RL post-training, for example, what DeepSeek R1 did, it removed the dependency on extensive human intervention, making training model potentially more efficient to develop and without human bias. So this trend will not slow down, it will only accelerate. For example, this week I just heard Alibaba release a new model that outperforms DeepSeek with only 10% of the cost. So this exactly feels like when personal computer or mobile phone or internet first came out. It was outrageously expensive in the beginning. Only a small portion of people can, ex can afford it. But once it develops, gets cheaper, it will cross certain threshold and becomes accessible for a majority of the people. And that is the point it will change the whole world. So the way you live, the way you work will forever change. And AI is going to be bigger than that. The second trend is moving beyond chatbot. I started working on chatbots in 2016, earlier than most of the people here, before the LM era. Something I learned from this long experience is a chatbot itself is nothing but a fancy demo. I still remember how big of a fuzz when ChatGPT first came out. But trust me, if ChatGPT don't move beyond a chatbot, it will fail. It's probably why OpenAI is doing agents and collaborating with robotics companies. So let me break down from a technical standpoint what does it mean for beyond chatbot. First, it moves from text-only models to multi-model. It includes image, video, voice, generation. So many models like GAN, Diffusion, DALI are capable of doing this. I plan to do a series of videos for this, just like the Transformer and DeepSeek series, so stay tuned. The second one is from chatbots to AI agents. This is where it starts to become interesting. AI is probably pretty capable on tasks like coding, generating mocks, etc. It will even be more powerful if it can extend to more your browser, your phone, and acts as your personal assistant without the need to sleep or slack. The last one is with the evolution of AI system, will make it able to physically interact with the world. It could be a human-like robot, it could be something else but it will eventually cross the boundaries from the worlds of bytes to the physical world. The third trend is more industrial focus. I still remember when LLMs only lives within Google Brain 
and some research heavy teams and OpenAI was still about non-profits and building bots to play Dota. But now we have passed that phase. There's no Google Brain anymore. There's only Google DeepMind and OpenAI is no longer doing non-profit and nobody's playing Dota right now. So we have all passed that phase. With the development of foundation models and with it getting more and more accessible to everyone, there will be more open source solutions in the market. The whole market will get disrupted and application level will be the next place to grow exponentially. So if you are a software engineer or in tech, you probably want to be prepared for this or you should already start working in LLM or AI related areas. So once this phase is matured, AI will no longer be a general purpose concept or gimmick. It will excel at specific industries and tasks, and it will start to fulfill its full potential, and it will change the world. I don't think this is very far away from us. I grew up without internet, and Ruthie, Leonard, they probably can't imagine how it's like back then. It's the same for AI. 10 years later, you won't believe how you are living right now. With all the above points, my friends, be ready for the tipping point. Like all technical breakthroughs before, waiting for it is not a strategy. Reluctant to accept it is anti-strategy. What you should do instead is to embrace it and ideally contribute to it. Currently, software engineers are impacted more by this AI trend since AI is good at coding and less in others, but soon it will impact all the industries education, medical, service, day-to-day -day work, everything. I'm optimistic this eventually won't be a negative change. It won't make human useless and jobless. It will be like computer, mobile phone, internet, and electricity. It will improve our quality of life and then create countless new needs, new jobs. So be prepared for the future and embrace it. All right, hope you like this video. If you do, hit subscribe, comment, and like. See you next time.